Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for May 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy birthday to my Taurus out there, my Taurus fam. Yes, it is Taurus season. I hope you guys are doing well. For all of you that have your birthdays in April, I hope you had a fantastic birthday. And for those of us, myself included, that have our birthdays in May, a very happy birthday to you guys too. So we are going to get into your monthly messages here. So this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Just email me and I'll get you all set up. Yes. So I'm changing it up a little bit again this month. Uh, last month I started with the Oracle and then I went through to the message. This time I'm going to go back to doing the messages first and then move to the Oracle. But instead of using the unicorns this month, I want to bring a little more extra guidance in. So we're using the crystal mandala deck. Yeah. Yes, so please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This is a general reading. Also, uh, energies are fluid, so this could go either way, okay? So it, just because, you know, this is for Taurus, these are messages for Taurans out there, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, but it also could have to do, it could be messages coming forward for maybe like a cross watcher that may be looking for some information on a Taurus that they are dealing with. Yes, also keep in mind that this is not love specific, okay? These are just messages whatever wants to come out. I don't normally do just like strictly love readings. Of course it does come out sometimes, but that's not the end game. That's not the focus here on divine conversations. Yes? All right, excellent. Without further ado, let's just get to it, Taurus. Let's see what we've got for your month. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of May 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this three shuffles and then we'll see what we've got here for my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus fam, what's going on in your month? What messages do you need for your month? Keep in mind, guys, that at any moment that you watch this during the month, that is when it is right for you, okay? So don't worry about, you know, the fact that you may not have caught it in the beginning of the month. And also, you might want to go back, uh, once we get to the end of May, you might want to go back and, you know, check it out, see maybe how things resonated with you, yeah? If it doesn't necessarily, especially if it doesn't necessarily make sense at the beginning of the month. Yes, Taurus? Boop, okie dokie. Overall energy for your month, Taurus. We have the Page of Swords. So, um, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, you could be dealing with someone that's younger than you. Someone could just be watching you also. So you may have caught somebody's attention and they're just trying to, you know, learn a little more about you. This might be a coworker. Um, but also you could be in a really inquisitive time in your life this month as well. And it kind of feels like if that's the case for you, it kind of feels like it's not just this month. Um, it's something that you may have been, a path you may have been on for some time or following after the month of May. It may be something that, you know, continues to catch your interest, maybe some, uh, a point of interest in your life. It does feel fairly big. Um, in terms of, you know, maybe life mission or something that you really, really want to work on. You're trying to discover something here, okay? Uh, yes, look at that. Underneath the Page of Swords is the Wheel of Fortune. Big, big change. Um, you may have recently come across uh, a major cycle, ending to a cycle, or with this Page of Swords energy, you may be working on ending a cycle. Underneath that is the Hermit. Damn, Taurus, you are on some serious shit right now, aren't you? Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. You could have Virgo energy in your chart. Um, there's, there is a strong effort to bring some sort of inner truth, inner light, and justice into some sort of situation. Damn, Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo, y'all going strong for your birthday month, huh? You also could be dealing with a Libra. Um, the big thing that I'm getting here is that there is some sort of information that you are seeking during this month. It's definitely either influencing a major change um, in your life karmically, um, or it could be 
um, a change, a major change in your life that has come about that you've experienced in the recent past. I want to, I'm hearing February. It, for some of you, it's something that may have started in February, um, or may have come to an a head in February or come to like an ending. Um, and you may have been dealing up until now, you may have been dealing with the actual assimilation, the processing, the settling of the dust, uh, just kind of getting over the situation. But it could be an ending of a major karmic cycle or just a major change that um, is bringing on this influence of seeking out something new. Karmic justice. This does kind of feel like it could be a big, big form of justice here um, for like the collective in some cases. Justice could also mean there could be some sort of breakup, maybe a divorce or maybe some sort of legal situation, um, you know, that is coming to a close, coming to an end. You may be seeking out ways to end this cycle also okay i mean i'm just at this point i'm just repeating myself so we're gonna continue <laughs> yes um major karmic justice though big big karmic justice here for you taurus and it couldn't be at a better time because this is our birthday season yes as far as western astrology goes all right so getting into your messages here first row is going to be um I mean, this is, these are just the messages for your month. So you can either take this as the first row is the first half of your month, the second row is the second half of your month, or you could just take all the messages and let them land where they land. I kind of recommend that. Yeah, energy is fluid. Time is an illusion. Yes? Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. We have the three of pentacles. Teamwork, entrepreneurship, also self-mastery. And that kind of goes along the lines of what you have in your overall energy between the page of swords, the wheel of fortune, uh, the hermit, specifically the hermit, and also justice. Okay. There's definitely a sense of self-mastery here. I also feel like there is a deep sense of teamwork. So um, some of you, maybe you are working on a new business venture, entrepreneurship of some sort, and you could possibly be seeking out people or employees or just people that you want to add to your team, okay? But also there is a deep sense of self-mastery here, yes? Three of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, the Ace of Cups. So some of you really have been working very hard on um, loving yourself, learning to love yourself, um, filling up your own cup, really working on self-mastery. Like I said, there is a big, deep sense of self-mastery here. There is a level of unconditional love and compassion that you are generating or working on building for yourself right now. And that absolutely could be influencing this karmic change in your life, this self-discovery, this going within, walking your own path with the hermit energy here, okay? And this, and you, honestly, you walking your own path, number one, has big karmic connotations for the people around you, for the collective, like I was picking up on earlier but it also has everything to do with your cup being full, okay? It's only through you loving yourself unconditionally that you have the balls, the cojones, the, 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 the audacity to walk your own path, Taurus, okay? That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. And if you're going to walk a path and be somewhat of a trailblazer, which is weird for a fixed energy, don't get me wrong, Taurus, you are a fixed energy, um, but you can be a trailblazer if it's something you truly believe in. And I really do feel like it's something that you truly believe in here. Uh, I feel like there was another point that I was making, but I've lost it. So whatever, we're going to move forward. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. We have the Empress. This definitely could be seen as your energy. The Empress is a mother-like energy. Um, it is a very loving, compassionate energy. And I really do feel like mo uh, lots of empathy is what Spirit just said. And I really do feel like you're coming from this place of either being a really nurturing energy or just experiencing or acknowledging the nurturing energy that the universe is surrounding you with abundance extreme abundance like this just feels like the encouragement a child would need from a loving parent to follow their own path in life you know um how you would raise a child ideally you would one would raise a child to honor their own intuition honor their own creativity honor their own sense of individuality and autonomy and allow the child to just be who they are and love them for who they are that is what this empress energy feels like and it really also feels like this energy is being felt within you but then you as this trailblazer with the hermit energy here the wheel of fortune and also justice that's underneath the deck you have an energy where you are feeling this but then you are 
are also sharing it with the world, okay? Which is really, really beautiful. And it's definitely creating some sort of karmic change or setting up a ma massive, ma massive, massive cycle, um, a massive um, cleansing, clearing, but change in a major cycle for a lot of people, it feels like, okay? The Empress is coupled with, oof, the Nine of Swords. But also, okay, see, this is why you're really needing to tap into this Empress energy. Um, that is also why this Empress energy is here, the Nine of Swords, because the universe is trying to encourage you to do your own thing. Be your own person, my child, is what they're saying. Um, and so if you find yourself in any sort of real fearful times, maybe you, you might be having trouble sleeping, um, you might be having really crazy dreams, some nightmares maybe, anxiety in general, tap into the abundance of the universe because the universe is here to help, okay? Your challenge in the first half of the reading here, you have, ah, the chariot. You could be, you could be dealing with a Cancerian energy. There could be cancer in your chart. Um, but the challenge here is to really balance yourself out, justice, bring some balance into your life, um, grounding and moving forward with what it is you're truly passionate about. The Empress energy here is is absolutely going to help you work on that balance, help you help, help nurture you yourself into that balance. OK, but OK, so the, cha the the challenge being the chariot, especially for a fixed energy, especially for Taurus, um, the chair, the, the, the chariot is bringing the challenge of getting moving, getting going. I do feel like you're feeling this inspiration. Now, some of you may be kind of in this state of mm, I don't know. Let me kind of like test it out, check it out, maybe look into it a little bit, do a little more research. I kind of feel like I need a little more research before I actually like get started moving. You know, it's that kind of thing. Do you hear the tone in my voice, Taurus? Mm-hmm. Can you say procrastination? I mean, whatever, do whatever feels right for you. But the challenge here is to get moving, yes? The chariot is coupled with, yeah, the Eight of Cups, walking away from the things that would stand in your way of getting moving. So like, for some of you, it's about leaving the procrastination behind. Uh, for others of you, this really feels like, so this really could be why we're talking about like maybe some sort of relationship, a marriage potentially, or maybe even a long-standing relationship, some sort of legal matter. Um, but it feels like it's time to, like enough is enough is what I want to say. It's like you can't, it, you can't keep doing this over and over and over and over expecting the same, expecting a different result, but doing it the same way. You know what I mean? Like, as, and, and for some of you, this feels like a situation in which you've exhausted all of your options and it just still isn't working. Well, time to go. I mean, that's all there is to it. No if, ands, or buts, no, no sideways about it. It's just time to get moving, Taurus, okay? Or... If you are a cross watcher and dealing with a Taurus and they're soup being super, super fixed about the situation, mm, not much you can do. Yes. Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Taurus, we have the King of Swords. Well, my, my, isn't that just appropriate? Seeing things for, out, for what they are, being um, objective about the situation and cutting your losses is basically what this says. Okay, I do, I really do feel like some of you have just been maybe even beating a dead horse in this situation. And it's time to just take it for what it is, see it for what it is, and just get moving. Mm -hmm. King of Swords is coupled with <laughs> the Eight of Wands. Just get moving. And honestly, you could use this energy of the King of Swords to clear away anything that might be standing in your way to really bring forward this Eight of Wands energy, this clear open space for you to just move quickly, okay? And this is, in my opinion, the, ma the Minor Arcana version of the Chariot, which is in your challenge in the first half of the reading. Yes, Taurus? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Just get moving, Taurus. Just do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, honey. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies. You've got 
the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new start. It might be a new commitment. It really might be a new commitment because this is falling right under the Three of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Um, but this also could be a commitment to yourself. This could be a new job. This could be a new financial start, new financial opportunity. Um, but also, like as, as a continuation of the first half of the reading here, if you were just to see things for what they really are and make the appropriate choices and just get moving, look at what you have on the other side. Ace of Pentacles, a brand new start. This doesn't have to be financial. It could just represent a new physical situation within your life, yes? Because Pentacles is more than just finances and money. It is the physical realm, yeah? Ace of Pentacles is coupled with... Ooh, the Knight of Cups. There really could be some sort of relationship coming towards you, Taurus, here. Um, it could, <laughs> maybe it's with a coworker. I did pick up on that before. Someone could be watching you and wanting to get to know you better, wanting to extend some sort of offer, some sort of cup of love here. Now, the other thing that's coming through with this is the fact that you might really be in a position where your heart is very, very open. And so that is allowing you to move forward. It is aligning you with a new opportunity to, to flourish in, yes? Mm -mm. Happy birthday, Taurus. <laughs> second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here. You have the two of wands. Excellent. So there may be a choice that you have to make this month. Um, this feels like a new direction. And actually, this is kind of aligned with this king of swords and the eight of wands energy, which is definitely related to the... Um, chariot and the eight of cups in the challenge in the first half of the reading here um if you're really using oh also i'm so sorry i forgot to mention this but you could be dealing with an aquarian as this king of swords you could have aquarius in your chart also you could be dealing with another air sign uh gemini uh, or libra but um all that aside if you were to use this king of swords energy this object this objectivity um, diplomacy to your advantage, it really could help you make some sort of decision in which direction you want to go, what action you want to take, okay? Two of Wands is coupled with oh, the Four of Wands. Yeah, and it's great because what I was feeling with this Two of Wands is whatever this choice is, it's leading you to greater happiness. It's leading you to greater stability. And I don't want you to think that this is either you're choosing the stability or you're not choosing the stability. That's not what this means here. Th what, this is, what this is feeling like to me with this Two of Wands and the Four of Wands, it's like you have options in how you can reach this four of wands energy this could be a relationship a marriage a new home that would could be what we're talking about here with the ace of pentacles um a, a, a union you know a relationship or, or whatever a new job like whatever um but it feels like that's something it just feels very very fulfilling this four of wands energy it's like borderline ten of cups here um you could be setting yourself up to achieve ultimately a greater form of that 10 of cups that you're looking for. This might be a, this, this choice that you may have to make here, Taurus, may be a precursor um, to ultimately manifesting or achieving this 10 of cups that resonates with you. Cause I am feeling that coming off down in the distance. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of the reading here, you've got, ah, the three of cups celebration um social aspects social aspects social atmosphere um what i feel like this means here for you taurus is your challenge in this half of the reading is about is about maintaining your own personal alignment in the face of social atmospheres yes being social being out in the world allowing yourself to be seen and heard for who you truly are but still maintaining that alignment with yourself that independence still maintaining your trailblazing aspect your i guess you could say lone wolf aspect but it doesn't even feel like you're trying to be a rebel it's just you're being you three of cups is coupled with the high priestess yeah there could be needing to be secretive about what it is you're truly trying to accomplish in the face of um what's going on with your social circle i'm definitely feeling like there's an energy of just keeping keeping things to yourself and it's not about being secretive it's not about being you know um yeah, it's not about really being secretive. It's just about 
knowing when and what is right to share with certain people. Does that, I hope that makes sense. Because I kind of feel like you're in such a good place right now or during this p time period, Taurus, in which you really could just want to divulge all kinds of information, just like tell people what you're experiencing, what you're going through, what you're working on. But it's probably not the best idea right now. There will come a time where you'll be able to share, absolutely, but it's still in gestation. It's still in the beginning processes of it. You don't want to contaminate it with other people's opinions and energy. Just Keep it under wraps is what I'm feeling here, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome for the second half of your reading here, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. This feels really, really good. You might be in a period of harvest. This is also more um, Virgo energy, but you might be in a period of harvest right now, which feels fantastic. But also the biggest thing that's coming through with this Seven of Pentacles is that you've actually set yourself up really well for a really awesome, awesome harvest. It feels like a lot, if not all, of the major lessons for this checkpoint, I guess you could say, because you can say the Seven of Pentacles is like a checkpoint type energy. The major lessons or even all of the lessons have been learned here to really optimize your harvest moving forward or even in this period, because at this checkpoint, you could be harvesting some really beautiful stuff. Seven of Pentacles is coupled with, hey, 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 hey the magician. What did I say, guys? You're doing really well. You really made the right choices. That's what this is saying here. You really made the right choices. This could either be... Um, you might be experiencing that now, and that's what's helping you move forward, change this karmic cycle, bring some justice into your life. Or as this month goes on, you really could be experiencing that. Okay? Excellent, Taurus. So now I'm going to get your oracle card here for the month of May for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Best message, please, Spirit, to close off this reading for the month of May for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There it is. Let's see what we've got. We've got, ooh, yes. Card number 15, Archangel Raphael and Malachite. Grace for the grand gesture. Beautiful. Let's see what we've got. Card number fifth, fifth toozles. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm being silly. Grace for the grand gesture, card number 15. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith. The grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the universe to gift you with a new future. The grand gesture is the big step, the willingness to say to the universe, I trust you. I know it is time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience, and I am willing to allow you to lead me to it. You then make an offering which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. It, if it comes from a place of, quote, should or uncertainty, then you are not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but also because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for divine grace that expresses itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. A big old happy birthday to you, Taurus, <laughs> okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Please don't hesitate to hit that like button and email me if you would like a look into your personal situation, yeah? Um, I hope you guys have a great month. I hope you have a great birthday season. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of June. Ooh, June, no, yeah, June is coming, okay? Love you guys. Mwah, bye.